Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new tutorial, and this time I will explain how to do Greenish skin. I was asked if I can do Greenish skin type of um, painting, so in that tutorial I will explain how I will do or oh, one way to do Greenish skin. I will go for some pale skin, like olive um, color, not to not to yeah not to bright skin try to go for palish greenish skin the skin that the, you may use for for example zombies uh, you can use for um uh, yeah some care school this or even not girl followers in that case i will use it on this miniature it's an old metal miniature from necromunda and uh yeah i will wear the greenish skin on top of that uh, this part i will just focus on the greenish skin you see that they have so on uh, scales and have other elements i will not touch this i will just focus on on the colors i will maybe done on the legs where i have this of these things um but yeah let's start cracking on that so the first thing i will use the base color i will use is ogwing um i will use ogwing camo okay and uh, this is like you see it's like an olive color it's not too dark and I will use this as my base color for that. Check it very well. And yeah, let's just start painting. Uh, you see, it will be a, like a light olive color. Okay, so I will, I can start from the bottom, from the feet, and I will do just a layer of this color. So yeah, I, I, I don't think you need to see how to apply a layer. Uh, just thin paint uh, and go all over the skin. I will do the whole skin of this guy. This is quite heavy. I can let you know that this is a metal miniature, so it's quite a heavy one. It goes in a very small base. This is the original base of the miniature. I was thinking if I move him to bigger base, but so far I will keep it like that. Maybe I will add the ring to go for a bigger base. So yeah, I will be doing that. Uh, as you can see, I, I have not did the work on the base. It's because I just got this miniature from all miniatures that they have there pending to be painted. And I will just do the skin as I've been asked if I can do the skin. Okay, so I will be painting that and I will be back once I have applied the base color. So once the base paint is applied, now we can do a wash in that case. I will do a wash with um, how it's called this the uh, this one it's called I think Athonian camo shade okay it's like it's a greenish mm, green and this will help. to really pop up and I'm doing because there is a lot of scales in that skin so this will give a lot of visibility of the different detail that we have on that skin we help it with the paint job to, to, to pop up all the paint job that I need to do so I will do those this all over the skin I don't want really to accumulate too much uh, except on the deeper recesses but I want this to be uniform and all over the skin part. So this is quite also fast step. And each time I can I, I like to do I, I like to do a while after the the base color because this is this helps a lot to, to show the detail and the sculpting of the how the, the miniature is sculpted and help out on where to apply the paint later on. Uh, it's, it can be sometimes a little bit dirt, but I think it's really worth it, worth it to do it. So I will, you can see now this whole the different detail is popping up. Okay. Up of 
And in that case, it's quite. This guy is not clean, so it's some. Um, if you have, uh, the skin is not uniform in color. So if you have some areas greenish than others, it should be okay. Okay, and then we will go for this. This will make very visible all the musculature, the scales, the mm, different, what you call this, uh, scars and all the things that this meter have. Okay. The finger, the toes, toe. And then the other feet, foot. As you can see it's quite a fast thing to do. Now I will just look around and avoid big pools of paint. For example, here I did a mistake now, I should leave it now because it was slightly too dry. But I think it's looking good. I'm going to play a little bit more on the ace. The, ace, the socket of the ace, you always want to have a nice shading. Because this will help you later on to paint the ace. Okay, and also on the mouth. I want it to. Okay. So this is how it looks like, let it dry, and I will be back once this is completely dry. So now the wash is dry completely, and I will start doing the highlights. And to do the highlights I will apply again Camo Green, that you see here, Quick Khaki, that is an edge paint, and Floyd One Flesh. I will do combinations of this. I will put these colors on my white palette. Okay. They will work on my wet palette. So let's take some of each and we are going to be layering. So I will also use palette palette witch flesh. This is almost white. Okay. So here I have the three the four colors one next to each other. And with that, we are going to work on layering the colors on the, mi on the miniature. So let's start the work. <coughs> I will start with one arm. Maybe the easiest place to start. First, I clean up with the camo green. Okay. Let's do a couple of muzzles.
Okay, let's. We'll do one arm. I will do zone by zone, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I will just do one part on the tutorial because I don't think it makes sense to do. I don't think you need to see the whole process. So as you can see, I will do this arm on the tutorial just to show you how I will do it. Okay, and a way to do greenish skin. And as I say, this can be suitable for zombies, for and for Nurgle, and for any type of demonic, filthy um, creatures that you want to play. I will also do this big muzzle here. This will give me room to to do some other stuff. And as I say, I'm just now repainting these parts with all green camo green, the, the base color, as this is... Okay? Okay. Now I will start applying the next color that was quick khaki. Okay, let's apply it here. And this will be the base to do a nice skin. Later on you will need to work to break the uniformity, maybe with some purples and some flesh tones. To make the color look more organic, and I think I will do this second part next week. How to make this, how to add here some more color, especially when you have a creature like this one that have a lot of skin. Okay, as you can see. And I will just do the arm and the hand that is holding this on camera. And I will prepare the rest for the following tutorials, but I will do it off camera because I think it makes no sense. I think if I show you how to do this part, the rest is a repetition of the same. So it should be good enough to do the rest. Here I will paint. The fingers, okay, and I will with the camouflage, the original color. I will just do the deepest part of the fingers, I do this, not the knots with okay. This is how it looks like now. Now I'm going to use the flight one flesh that is a creamy color, it's not green. And I will use this first to give color variation. Okay, and then I will just apply it on the area that I really want the model to pop out. Okay. For example here I will just do it on the top. And this will give more warm color. So for example I will apply here. Will give a little bit more flesh tone. But technically it's more a cream color. Let's have a little bit of Red, this color will give more 
משתפים איתו. You can mix it with a little bit of the previous color to make it less visible and to work on transitions. But you really want this more organic color. Because this will uh, um, improve the sensation that this is like corrupted skin. Okay. Here I go with the camo green to do this part here. Right. Then the scales. I, I think I will use this model also to explain how to, how to do the scales later on. You can see this is maybe too much, so you uh, took the previous color, the green, the light green, over here, and then I took okay. So this is how the, the arm is looking like right now, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the which how it's called the color it's almost white the palette witch flesh that it's almost white and with that color we are going to give the last access to the skin this one is the only one to really is like to make in will give the shininess because the skin is a little bit shiny normally especially if it's sweating so this will give the sensation will give the, the shininess of the to the skin okay Keep this part here. So keep some warm tones. Okay, and this is how we look like. So this is one way to do the skin. Now we work again with the lighter green. Okay. Now the idea is try to soften the transitions where I find that are too sharp, too strong. And here, what I will do is I will do a glaze with the... So I will apply very dilute the camo green. To soften a little bit this dark color here. Okay. Supply. Let 
This will be my way to make the Winnie's skin. Okay. So yeah, I will I will do the next, I will do the rest of the miniature. You can see I'm now trying to point the muzzle and, and try to work to make them softer. But see here is your we see this is the arm that is done. Okay, and this is the other parts that are not done. So I will do the next. You see here how it's looking like now. I will keep working on this miniature to show you how the full skin will look like once it's painted, and I will be back to you when this work is done. So this is now that I have done all the skin, how it looks like. Here we have at the tail of the legs. Uh, on the hands I forgot to mention, but you add some light. Let me take something to point. So you add some lighter spots. But here on this, on this part. So you see the musculature and then the back also all the different shades and all the different work of course this looks quite incomplete because there are a lot of scales on this musculature that are not painted and I will do this in a different tutorial but this one I wanted to focus just on how to paint uh, green pale skin uh, and how to do this this can be a good base to start with the paint job so this is just the base and from here you can start doing the work where again on the face I also did some additional work so this is how it's looking like okay and yeah uh, for this week uh, this is the tutorial that I wanted to do uh, based on a question that I received um, last week on how to do green pale skin and this is one way to do it uh, if you have any idea anything that you want to, sh uh, to see please let me know I receive another uh, yeah, another um, what it's called, another uh, suggestion if I can do a uh, camo green, uh, a camo cloak. So um, I will see for next week. I do a, I explain how to do camo cloak on a miniature. So this is the work for that week. I will keep it, and later on I will do more tutorials on this because it's a nice miniature to do some more additional tutorials. So that's all for that week. I hope you like it. Please let me know what do you think. Comment, like if you like it. And if you want to support this channel, uh, I have a Patreon account. You can find it in the link in the description below. Uh, and you can go to the Patreon. And yeah, any support will be welcome from 1 euro. Uh, even 1 euro, I will be happy if I receive this. Uh, all the money collected from the Patreon is, will be dedicated to the channel in different ways. So, on more product reviews, if I have the right phones, I can do more product reviews and on tailoring as much as I can my tutorials. So, that's all for now. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you again later. Bye.